Hi everyone, welcome to the Mom's Village Show. I'm Isis Nyong'o, founder of Mom's Village and co-host of the Mom's Village Show. On this show, what we do is we bring together everyday moms just like you for honest conversations about motherhood in Kenya. We also meet experts and discover really exciting products that make parenting easier in Kenya. I'm super excited about the show and I'm even more excited that I'm being joined by Janet on the show. Thank you so much, Isis. I'm Janet Mbogwandishu and I'm so excited to be a part of the Moms Village show. I love all things motherhood and parenting. So this is up my alley. And I'm even more thrilled that today we're talking to young moms and what it's like to be a young mom in Kenya. Today, we have Evelyn Kaira, who is a stay-at-home mom, and we have Tatiana Karanja, who is a renowned photographer. And uh, Tatiana, maybe I'll just start with you. What is it like being a young mom today? Um, well, I really enjoy motherhood. It's, yeah. I mean, it's completely different from the life I was living before, but at the same time, I mean, she just brings so much joy into my life that I can't even remember the life that I was living beforehand, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, and your baby's four months? Yeah, she's four months. Okay. And um, what I really like about it is people start doing things for you, which I love, you know. <laughs> people will always help you up the stairs, help carry your stuff, bring the car around. Yeah. Your parents will come from all over Nairobi to bring you food and, you know, whatever you need. So yeah. that's what I love about motherhood as well. Wow. And then maybe I can I can ask this to, to Evelyn. That sometimes there's this misconception that a lot of young moms don't believe in breastfeeding. I could mm -hmm. be completely wrong, but we hear that a lot. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Are, are you a happy breastfeeding mom. I know, by the way, I profiled her on I Am Motherhood, yeah. um, which is a portrait series that I run. Yeah. So I know you are. But what are some of the things that people, that young people, young moms, how do they feel about breastfeeding generally? Okay, personally, I don't have a problem with that because at the end of the day, the baby has to feed. You know, if he's in green mm -hmm. town, you have to feed him, you know. Yeah. But most people fear like breastfeeding in in public, you get like people asking you, why are you doing this here? You know, right. is it okay? Like, mm. uh, aren't you ashamed? Like, is your baby going to be fine? Mm. But all I'll say is that when a baby is hungry, he's hungry, he's a mini human being and <laughs> he has to feed just the same way you grab something on the street and you're like, it's the same way for the baby. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm okay, I'm proud, but I'm so proud to breastfeed. Yes. It's, okay. it's really creates a good bond between you and the baby. Yeah. 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 Actually, that's exactly how I felt. I think the first time I was breastfeeding, I was at Art Cafe and she was one week old and I had to call my mum. I was almost in tears thinking, <laughs> panicking about how I'm going to feed yeah. my child in public. <laughs> uh, and I think it's just all the stigma that you read about from overseas. Mm -hmm. mm. But I think it's just so normal in Kenya. So, I mean, I, I also came to that realization that, yeah. you know, she has to eat and I'm just going to do it. I, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter about anybody else yeah. around you. Yeah. And it's more fulfilling after feeding that he smiles and you're like, yeah, I yeah. did the right thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> burp and smile. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And what about how involved um, y your partners are? Uh, is that a great help? Just sort of bringing up a baby with a supportive partner is that something that that you have in your life definitely and my, yeah. my partner's really supportive um i think i have olive a lot more with me than he does because i mean, i just generally cannot let her go i can't have mm -hmm. her out of my sight just yet mm -hmm. i know it's getting better but i just so right now i have her at work with me every day um but he does he what he her. can yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's here as well but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He, when she's at home, he plays with her, he makes sure she, she does her tummy time, he changes her diapers, you know. Yeah. He wakes me up in the middle of the night if she's hungry and I haven't woken up. So, I mean, he's a, he's a great help. Yeah, same. Yeah, and, same. Yeah. And, and it oppressed for me also, like, he's so supportive and he's so involved with the baby to an extent that the baby can cry for him even when I'm with him, you know. So, it feels good to have someone who is supporting you all through. And even today, like, he's with me. He came yeah. with mm -hmm. me for the supper to be the baby. And uh, but let me ask you, is it consistent in public versus, because, I mean, I mean, okay, there's <laughs> The whole African male, yeah. you know, space and, you know, those considerations around the, ha um, I think there's a transitioning time where, where, where men are much more involved generally, which is fantastic. But do you see a difference like with, not even with yourself, but even with friends of mm. how people are in public versus how they are in, how public, they are in yeah. private? I definitely see that Wayne's, uh, he's very proud when he's with people. So yeah. he will be like kind of more sh showing off. Kind <laughs> of, I feel like we both yeah. do that. But I mean, of course he doesn't have to do that at home. Yeah, so, yeah. But he does take care of her the same way he would in public oh, and in private. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there's no much difference. Like, mm. uh, it's like, he doesn't almost realize the difference. Like, the moment it's about the baby, he will oh, just great. be there, you know? Yeah, so it's not that different, but mm. he feels more proud in public with the baby. Yeah. And mm. yeah, the way she said, it's like kind of yeah. showing off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I see another, for me, especially when, when we say young moms, you immediately think social media, you immediately mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. online. How much do you share? about mm -hmm. your lives because there's again another sense that young people sometimes can be exhibitionists. Everything I'm going through, everything that's about the baby and me, I'm gonna put it out there. Mm. Do you get a sense now that you're saying, there's some moments that I just want to cherish and keep private or are you all about documenting your mm. baby's life? Tatiana. Mm. I'm a photographer, so <laughs> I'm all about documenting my baby's life. 
yeah. But not only that, I mean, when I was pregnant, I started writing a lot about personal things going on with my pregnancy, and I got so much help from so many different people mm -hmm. that I just wanted to continue that now as well after she's born. And I still get a lot of help from people. So I do have a blog for Olive mm -hmm. where I like to post everything, and I just talk to a lot of moms who are going through the same thing, and it's very helpful for me. Okay, so for yeah. you, it's more around just yeah. sort of helping and yeah, it's very helpful. Yeah. And I also want her to have something to look back on and see all the silly things she did or stuff that I went through. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I want there to be a platform for other mothers to know that you know you do some bad things happen, but you know you're a good mom, and you just need to power through. Yeah, things. and the photos. I mean. Obviously, as a photographer, you um, but you have a lot of photos of her. Oh, I have. Yeah, I mean, I have to really stop myself from posting so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for me, I'd say uh, I want to put him out there when I need to communicate something, like when mm -hmm. I need to say something that is going to help someone. But sometimes I feel like I need to keep some moments, like mm -hmm. for us. I don't want to put out everything out there in the public, you know. But yeah. if it's something that I've gone through and I feel someone else would learn from it or get inspired, I put it out there mm -hmm. and I post and. Yeah, you get feedback, amazing feedback, and yeah. you're like, oh, we are so mad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. can, can I take it back a bit and yeah. ask how your families reacted when you mm. said, I'm expecting a baby? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I was really scared. So I actually went to my friend first, and who actually persuaded me to talk to my parents. And I talked to my mom, and she was so nice about it. She just, she just looked at me and said, what do you want to do about it? And then from there, everything just became a lot easier. I talked to my dad about it. What I did with my dad is I told him that she was expected on the same date as his mother, which oh. and I was naming uh, my baby after his mother, so it made it's very a clever. Lot smoother. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's very handy strategy. Very yeah. handy. What about you? Yeah. Okay, for me, it was first. It was kind of hard because I didn't know how to approach my mom. But again, like we had a good relationship with my mom, so I just said, okay, fine. I said a little prayer, and then I was <laughs> like, okay, mom, you know what? There's something on ten, and yeah. amazingly, she was like, okay. Yeah. So what do you want to do about it? Like, are you ready for this? And I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. So he, she was like, okay, I'll mm -hmm. talk to your dad. And so just be calm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. That's, yeah. that's good. And yeah. I think we'll hear so much more from the two of you right after this short break. Welcome back. And today we're talking to two young moms um, and talking a little bit about what it's like being a young mom today. We certainly know there's challenges around being a mother generally, but being a young mom, that's got to be very interesting. And for you, Evelyn, you're 21. Yeah. Um, what's that like in terms of the challenges that come with being a young mother um, who's not in school, who's trying to juggle working and raising a baby? What's that like? Okay, I'd say it's not easy. I wouldn't lie, so it's easy. It's hard, but the moment you have a support st system around you, it becomes more easier for you. The moment mm -hmm. someone is out there to help you, mm -hmm. and uh, for me, my mom and my partner, they have been really supportive. So mm -hmm. you find that people out there will tend maybe to maybe demoralize you. Mm -hmm. They want you to feel that you're not good enough. But the moment you learn not to listen to them and focus on what you've decided to do, it becomes more easier. And again, knowing what you want with your life, you know, because some people tend to think that being a mom now, it's the end of life. Like mm -hmm. it's, you, you're now at your final stages of life, but it's not <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day, people, even if you're an older mom, even like you, you still have things you want to do, right. you see? Yeah. So as Personally, I see we want to do more with my life. You know, I'll still go to school, pursue what I want to pursue, and life goes on. We are all happy. She's so <laughs> optimistic <laughs> I and wise. I, I, I don't know whether you have the same outlook, Tatiana. I mean, I definitely agree with what she's saying. It's definitely a challenge, but you do everything for your daughter without a second without a second look. I mean, everything that comes in your way that you think that you won't be able to achieve, you see your daughter smile, and everything suddenly becomes possible. And yeah, yeah, you just you just do it. You power through. Yeah. And yeah. so maybe the society should learn not to maybe to always rain negative energy on young moms because some people succumb to it and it mm. defines them from there. You see mom running away from it, like they just give birth, they leave their babies at home, they want to go and live a fake life somewhere else. But that's not what it's in them, but what the society has defined yeah. for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I definitely agree with the support system. If I didn't have the support system I had, I don't think I'd be able to do as much as I am doing right now, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. I think uh, to pick up a little bit when you were saying that having kind of a separate life, leave your baby somewhere else and do yeah. something. I, I, how do you feel about, you know, going out? And I mean, even even when I had children much older, and um, but even when I start to go out, people are like, you left the baby? <laughs> and they're like, who's the baby with? I'm like, well, clearly I didn't <laughs> just leave the baby on the, I mean, there's like, yeah. Danny, you know, a husband, yeah. Danny, all these things. But it was, it was just this 
I can't believe you're out. Yeah. yeah. Like showing your face in place, places, like, you know, when you have a really baby. baby. And I'm just curious, like, I, yeah. especially because you're younger and probably go out even more than I would yeah. do anyway. But actually, uh, do you I find a way to integrate that or you do? I think that's great. That's why being a young mom, maybe that's a, a pro for yeah. being a young mom, because I mean, all your friends know that, you know, it's a new age and yeah. you just because you're out doesn't mean you're not taking care of your children. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I have a lot of friends who know that I do take care of my child, but I still would like to go out. Mm -hmm. And actually, even before I was pregnant, I wanted to be at home more. So this is a perfect excuse for me to be able to be at home. <laughs> so <laughs> now you can own being a homeboy. Yeah, exactly. No one can tell me anything about it. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that's what she said. Like sometimes you still you feel just you want to be home with this baby, you know. But when you have to go out, you see, yeah, your friends understand. You know, mm -hmm. this is not like the old times of motherhood. Like mm -hmm. they even sometimes bring the party to you. Like you're mm -hmm. just there with your friends. Mm -hmm. They come. They bes yeah. besit your baby. Like you're having fun. It's kind of a different kind of fun, which is even more fun. Yeah. 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 So Definitely. sometimes you don't even desire to go back there. Going out to all those parties and mm -hmm. everything, it's mm -hmm. tiring. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love how you're 21 <laughs> saying it's so tiring <laughs> going yeah. for parties. You can imagine you're at the farthest end of Nairobi being told there's a party at the other farthest <laughs> side of Nairobi. You don't have an excuse, but you're yeah. like, mm, I don't have someone to leave my baby with. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but what, okay, based on that and just following from what I said, us what about balancing your life generally because like we said even being older moms or whatever you're trying to work you're trying to yeah. maybe study you're trying to have a relationship you're trying to have friends is it any different for young moms trying to balance it all what's the biggest challenge around that I think it's definitely difficult I mean for me the thing is that I just don't want to let go of Olive I just every minute I spend away from her I feel really guilty yeah. I want to spend every minute that I can with her so I think even working at the beginning I really it was a struggle for me it would take a lot longer to edit photos for example it would take me five hours instead of one because I'm <laughs> playing with her and editing at the same time but now I'm getting to a stage where I'm able to leave her with a nanny more often mm -hmm. and for a bit longer than before so I'm getting a lot more done and I'm lucky I don't have a nine-to-five job where mm -hmm. I, yeah. I you know I mean, yeah, I, I have a really nice job where I can be with her as well during mm -hmm. the day. So it doesn't mm -hmm. really affect me as much as it would affect somebody else, I think. Okay. Yeah, well, for me, I'd say also I'm so protective. I don't want to, I can't trust someone with my baby at mm -hmm. this age. So, like, I f tend to maybe be with him more. But now, like, I'm planning to go out and do a course. And I'm at a place where... I feel comfortable because it's a few hours then I come back mm -hmm. you see so I can be able to leave him with someone and then I'm coming back but I can't say I'm at that point I would go the whole day <laughs> but yeah. you heard of mani cams oh wow I did, so I did. So it's a, like a pretty common is thing do you think I, I don't know I felt kind of scandalous buying one <laughs> yeah. I don't know I feel like I'm spy I even had to let my nanny know I was like look this is just because right. I want to see her every right, day it's yeah. not because I don't trust what you're doing mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I think I bought one because the nanny I had before I, I, I instinctively I wasn't really happy and okay. I think Olive felt that too mm -hmm. and she's come in and I have not even used it once okay it's so. just, yeah. oh wow yeah. okay well why don't we come back and talk a little bit more about nanny cams <laughs> and other <laughs> measures that moms have to take when looking after their little ones we'll be right back Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. We're excited for this segment and we have two new guests of, of the show who you know, made themselves you know, um, interested in participating. We have Olive here and Dylan, so. They have something to say, Isis. Yeah, I know, We need to let to them also express that the most adorable. Oh, your babies I are know. stunning. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so during the break, yes, they, they, they need their moms and we welcome them onto the show. So we're really happy to have them here. Um, Tatiana, we are, um, you know, we mentioned earlier that you're a photographer and we're really excited to actually see some of your work so everyone can see a bit of what you do. So we're going to play, um, play a little bit to see that while, uh, while the kids settle in. Wow, stunning. Yeah. Thank you. So you do a wide range of stuff, hmm? Um, yeah, wow. I do a lot of, I actually do kind of all sorts of photography, but I'm mostly interested in travel and uh, food photography. Oh, nice. Yeah. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I spend a lot of time in Lamu, so I, I, I love it and know that. Lamu? Yeah. Yes, wonderful. A lot of my favorite shots are from Lamu, for sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 I guess becoming, I don't know, becoming a mom changed like any of your passions within the areas of photography you do, or is it? I'm, no, my passion for photography still lies mainly with um, travel and um, food, as I said. And I think the only thing is that I won't be able to travel as much now because mm -hmm. of Olive, and I'm not going to leave her at home. So yeah. I'm just going to put that on hold, I think, for another year. And then 
get back into it. But oh. it's still my favorite type of photography. And Olive loves her food. She's always at my food blogger events. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that hasn't changed at all. Yeah. Yeah. What about a little bit more about the maternity um, shoots? I know Isis was pretty curious about how much they evolved over yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, I think the one shoot that everyone's seen me do for maternity shoot was one of Sharon and you know she was in a bra and a little sexy bra and <laughs> maybe a top yeah. just covering a little bit you know and I think it's it's amazing that people are embracing their bodies because I know I did one and I felt really comfortable in my skin mm. and I wanted to show that off I felt really beautiful for I don't know not the first time in ages but I mean that was one period of my life where I just felt beautiful throughout the whole thing mm. so uh, I think it's important for women to just embrace their bodies and show off what you got I don't yeah. know it's, it's a beautiful nice. thing <laughs> yeah. is that how you feel as well? <laughs> Yeah, I, I I didn't have a problem with the weight gain and everything. Like I was happy. I loved my bum so much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and as I did a shoot, and uh, people appreciated it. Like, yeah, this is people should just feel comfortable in their own skin. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. standard to have a pregnancy photo shoot yeah. nowadays. Okay, yeah. okay, because it's not always been the case. Yeah. I mean, this is like a relatively. Yeah, and you know, but nowadays, mm. the, uh, the smartphones like you take pictures yeah. every time, and like it's hard to keep memories. But mm. when you have a shoot, and maybe you can even frame the photos, and yeah, yeah it becomes memorable because you know. But yeah. then our parents used to have huge albums. Exactly. Like, yeah. Since yeah. the first one was born. Yeah, all the way through. And it's funny yeah. you say that, Isis, because I did, I <laughs> did do um, a photo shoot, you know, when I was pregnant and it was on the cover of True Love magazine. And I don't know, for me, being pregnant was fascinating. Mm -hmm. So, it's, you know, and I know people were maybe blown away or whatever, confused, some of them confused, some of them blown away by the fact that I was very pregnant and on TV. Yeah. Um, but it was nice to then have a lot of women say, it's so good to see you embrace your pregnancy. Yeah. Um, and then now going on a cover and walking around with a tank top. <laughs> so I, I see yeah. what you mean about embracing, yeah. you know, your body. Uh, when someone tells you you're too pregnant to be on TV, how about those men with big babies? <laughs> on TV? Like, I was going to say, that's a whole other yeah. conversation. <laughs> the one for too pregnant, that's a whole that's other conversation. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> You shouldn't make maybe yeah. give a double standard. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You should appreciate. Actually, this is a life coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah. I just thinking more about pictures. Just this morning, as a, two toddlers, and we our first daughter. It's one of those things. First child gets m more things happen. But anyway, we did a photo shoot, and then we we actually um, had hard copies of some of them, those pictures. And I just came across them, and so the kids were looking at them, and then I was like, you know, we need to get not our sons, you know, hard <laughs> copies. Yeah. But then I had an old baby picture of me from like when I was one year old, like one picture, and wow. I, I showed that to them. They're trying to guess who it was, and yeah. I think it was this fascinating moment of thinking of mommy as like a yeah. baby once. Yeah. You know? yeah. that, that is so and they were really brilliant. like, "Whoa, yeah. this, is, this is kind of yeah." Yeah, so. and I think even talking about maybe what people would perceive of what young moms would do. Another one is around food and whether um, some people say young moms maybe prefer canned food as opposed to cooking. I don't know what your thoughts are on that. When you're going through the weaning mm. weaning stage, because you guys are both starting to wean, yeah. right? Or about, yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I'm so comfortable with, like preparing the meals myself and like knowing what you're putting there. It's like it's organic, you know, like you go for the direct thing. You get it from the market. It's healthy or maybe you even get it from up country. You know, when people come to, uh, to the city, they carry the whole village with them. Yeah. So, yeah, so like preparing your baby's meal for me, it's more comfortable than the canned, mm -hmm. you know. I think so that's definitely, I agree with that point because I'm also really into like healthy lifestyle and things like that. So, knowing what goes into my baby's food is really important for me. And I just enjoy cooking as well. So, mm. just making up new recipes for her is just something that would be really fun for me to do. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fantastic to see that, you know, moms are still so involved. So, yeah. yeah. Debunk that myth. And Debunking and that myth <laughs> right away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a culture you, you pick up in your family, like yeah. kids who enjoy your meals, they will miss yeah. mommy cooking, you mm -hmm. know. So, yeah, okay, I love sure, it. Yeah. I aspire to that. Right. Thank you. <laughs> well, we'll be right back um, <laughs> and for our, our final segment. So, um, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. We're now going to the product review segment where we're going to be reviewing an app. So discovering new products is part of our thing on this show. Um, and I'm very excited to introduce the MyDawa app. And what I'm going to do is actually walk you through it. It's a health app that anyone can download on a smartphone. And I'll walk you through how it works because the show and tell piece will really help you understand it. And then we'll share our perspectives having tested it, all, all four of us earlier. So why don't we get going? So any Apple Android phone can download the app. I'll quickly walk through how to place an order for a prescription product, which is amazing. So all you have to do is upload your prescription that you got from your doctor, right? Just upload it, 
handwritten, that's fine. Um, once you upload the, the prescription, it kind of goes into their system. And that's it. But then you want to continue shopping because they have other things there. So I think what I wanted to do is actually keep going and give you a sense of what else is within the app. So you can see there's everything from medical devices to personal care. Wellness is an area that's of interest to me, so I wanted to check out what they had there. Scan through the probiotic section and found something that I was actually familiar with. I said, hey, let me add this into the cart. Yeah, it's really quick. Yeah, get everything in your cart. Pretty clear what you're buying, the prices, and yeah, just double check what you're doing. And right after this is what is the interesting step because my DAO is actually about delivering to a pharmacy near you. And so you have to select where that is. And that means wherever you are, you might be at work, you might be at a friend's house, and you need something, and they deliver within four hours. So you can pick, and they have over 150 places already. Um, I'm sure they're adding more every day. Um, really pick using Google Maps, which I'm sure all of us use um, as an ex-Googler. I'm very pro Google Maps and use utility of it. Um, and so what you do is kind of pick the one that's, that's, that's closest to you, and literally within four hours, it's going to be there um, within, the, within the hours in which they, they deliver. So you can cal you confirm the order. And the beauty is you can probably send somebody else to pick it up. I wanted to show you something that happens after you pick up. Um, after you get a pre prescription product for specifically, you actually are able to authenticate that it is genuine. So we have an issue of counterfeit um, drugs in the market. Um, if you put in your SMS code or the QR after you've gotten the prescription, it'll verify that it is genuine. Uh, a genuine product and this is huge for the yeah. safety mm -hmm. think about safety of our kids and everything that yeah. this to me is like yeah. amazing so um, I know you guys tried it would love just a quick thought on yeah on what, what you thought I of mean, my dawa. just like you said Isis it's just the the availability and flexibility of having such a service especially as moms juggling so much so that's what I loved about it being able to you don't have to physically go somewhere all the time you can actually have it uh, brought to you so that that was my favorite part about using the service yeah, yeah. yeah for me I'd say the wellness blog like it was something that caught my interest because so many people want to live a healthy life and they are guiding you through that so yeah great so they've got interesting blog posts to go along with their products so yeah. That's great. yeah and i'd say that being able to have it picked up somewhere close to me because i live quite far out of nairobi well i live in karen <laughs> so <laughs> i feel like it's quite fun just being able to order something and then have it available next to me is mm. really ideal yeah, that's yeah. perfect. And I think the one other thing I would say is I'm sure they'll love feedback about new products they can be adding and all of those things. So as I just encourage everyone to try it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't see the product you want, just say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I would buy. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure they'd be kind of taking all that feedback. So really excited. Mm -hmm. Wonderful to have you guys here. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so, so much. It was so good to have you. You're doing a great job, both of you. And being young moms, <laughs> keep at it. I love, I love your spirit and I love your wisdom. So and thank you, you Evelyn and Tatiana. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Great. So thanks, everyone. Um, be sure to, you know, stick in, stick around and check out the next show for Mom's Village and, you know, other things, I think, from a Mom's Village perspective. We, um, you know, at the core website, check out our website, momsvillage.com. Yeah. And I am motherhood, all of yes. Janet's great stuff. Absolutely. Those. I am motherhood.love. That's oh, love, 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 love. <laughs> Yes, please check out the, the, the series that we're doing this month is on breastfeeding, yeah. um, which featured Evelyn as well. So yeah. thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank you. Right. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Take some Alright, bye. <laughs>